Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a June favorites. We are in July. We kind of have um, gotten out of the tropical uh, temperatures here in the Netherlands and we're back into like normal Dutch temperature, normal Dutch summer, which means like a light sweater during the morning and evenings. But I can't complain. It was 30 degrees last month for a lot of time and it was too much, especially without a beach to go to. Me, a creature of the sea and the sun, without a beach I felt like strangled and locked into this little house I have. It was terrible. Anyways, we survived and uh, today we're gonna talk about all of my favorite products I used in June, as well as uh, something that didn't really work out that great. And as usual, as I don't have a lot of favorites and empties each month, I am going to combine the two in one video. So we're gonna go through favorites, something that didn't work, and my empties for the month. Let's get started with a bang and with what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Oh, how I love the Melt Gemini palette. It's way better than my expectations. I thought, well, I have these colors already. Oh, my door is slamming. Uh, but I have these colors already and it's not gonna be that special, but it is, it really is. The formula is really, really good. And what I love the most is the fact that there's so many mattes and I use them a lot. I actually find myself using the neutral shades here a lot as well, which was a surprise because I mean I have a tons of neutrals, right? Um, but I have done a, a smoky eye using all the neutral shades and that is up on my channel, but you can see on my Instagram other looks that I did with the greens as well as today's look which is, which is uh, using the warm yellow with the, the greens down here and then yesterday i wore only a matte yellow eye with lorelei all over crease lid everything and then some deepening with these browns but very light shading and i loved that look i actually would have worn it today as well but i went into a slightly different direction because i have um, green pants and a yellow shirt i always match my makeup to my clothes or vice versa so now i have the um those colors on my eyes as well. Then if you're wondering what is this uh, shiny, gorgeous, shifting beauty on my lid, that is one of my Tami Tanuka pigments. Now I haven't used them a lot. I think I wore them on my eyes twice and um, swatched them already, all of them. This one here looks like this. It has a name in Russian on the back and uh, I have yet to do this homework of going to the website and matching the Russian names to what I bought and like writing them on a little tag. I might need a label machine for that, which I don't have, but I think I'm just gonna write it on stickers because uh, it's really difficult for me to say which one is which. Um, but this is a gorgeous, I believe these, uh, this is one of the two multichromes I bought. So they are a little bit more expensive than their regular pigments, but they are oh so stunning. I am really, really mm, itching to try and press these because they are very uh, inconvenient to use uh, in a loose form. They're not like max loose pigments where they already have some binders in it that it's a bit easier to use and they crumble in themselves. These are really loose powder. I already dropped one on the floor and had to do all of a blah, mess to pick it, some of it back up. And um, so I have to try to press the one I like the least and see if it works and then press the rest as well because I would love to use them more because I mean this is stunning, so beautiful. A uh, shout out this month goes indeed to the um, Neve Cosmetics Rujada Per Makeup. Um, this is a mixing medium and eye base from uh, uh, Neve Cosmetics, which is an Italian brand. And they started actually by making loose pigments. So uh, their base is made for mineral makeup and loose pigments. So I'm very happy to have purchased this a long time ago. It's all beaten up and discolored, but it works and you really need just a drop of it. I bet Duraline would work the same. I have tried the NYX Glitter Glue, but not really with these. 
I have hiccups you guys I'm sorry uh, not really with uh, these tummy tanuka pigments and uh, yeah give a big shout out to this one I couldn't do uh, without it I really like the product let's continue with eyeshadows because so this month I have a lot at the beginning of the month I did a full review and I used consistently and obsessively my lethal cosmetics eyeshadows and they're definitely among my favorites because they're so so good um, I love their palettes they're so pretty and then I love the content of the palettes I'll show you this one here which is my summer palette let's say and this is beautiful full of bright colors their matte pastels are beautiful their metallics work great without wetting your brush and overall great formula I refer you to my video on them you'll have uh, also all the swatches on my blog I will link them down below and in a card up here please feel free to take a look please go check out their website they are a Berlin based brand say that five times quickly and I really like them and I love to support indie brands in here in Europe because we have a hard time finding uh, good indie brands uh, in Europe and that are yeah easier to ship to us let's say one more eyeshadow palette and that is this guy here the Huda Beauty neon orange palette I have worn this quite a bit I have uh, worn all the shades by now I think maybe not this pink right here it's just not something I would wear on a daily basis but I think I used it to deepen a look or two you can find uh, my looks with this one on my Instagram which is having a bad time these last few days what is it with this engagement it's honestly I am so baffled by how few people see my posts these days I don't know but of this uh, favorite is definitely this yellow I've worn this by itself gorgeous um, beautiful tone of yellow it is not your typical neon yellow it's very warm but it's very unique and I have a lot of yellows as you might have seen from my yellow eyeshadow collection and it's grown since then because with Gemini this one and the Lethal Cosmetics which are all new eyeshadows I have even more yellows but um, yeah this yellow is very unique and I've also been enjoying uh, using this chartreuse shimmer or glittery shade in my inner corner with any look so that was the eyeshadows for cheeks um, let's get into the first product that didn't really work for me and that is the Colourpop light sticks not highlight sticks but light sticks this is in the shade bullseye and it's the one that was in the poppy set which I bought um, it is too glittery for me so when you apply it like this you see it very metallic but once you blend it out I wonder if I, it will show up if I do it on my hand yeah I see it you see a, a nice sheen and then you see a bunch of more silvery glitter in there and the silver glitter is what I don't like it really shows up on my cheeks it just doesn't look perfected it just doesn't look like I wanted to and unfortunately um, yeah I don't know that just wasn't a winner I uh, was discussing with a friend the other day and I don't think this would survive at the clutter um, if I had to and now I have highlighter everywhere maybe I should just tap it on I don't even know if it transferred anyways don't like this one I wouldn't bash on all of their highlighter sticks because I heard that uh, from the people who got them in PR that some of them have glitter some of them don't so you might find another one that works for you because overall the formula I like I have the two blushes that were in the poppy set the shade under pressure which is a bright coral which is so fun I've worn it a lot when I do my more new neon looks with the um, Huda Neon palette and then there's the shade Aloha which looks I don't know if you look at the two tubes it looks brighter than it is actually in the tube and this is a more um, muted rosy brown nude I don't know I love these I wear them a lot um, really like the formula they last a long time which I was surprised because I have oily skin and I thought that um, cream blushes wouldn't last on me and these are very easy I just dab a, a few dots on my and then on my cheeks and then uh, blend them with my fingers 
You can see me demonstrate these in my latest Get Ready With Me, but I wanted to come back and say that after wearing them for a few weeks, I am really liking them. Then moving on to lips. It's summer, it's time for bright lipsticks and actually I've been loving wearing more pared down eye looks with a bright lip and um, yeah, she says, well, wearing full on fall makeup, but yeah, this, this is not what my everyday uh, looks like, it's what today looks like, which is a normal day because I just came home from work. So anyways, um, I have been loving and rediscovering my Mulak Cosmetics Crazy Like a Fox lipstick. I had a um, family birthday party of my in-laws and it was a big event and I was dressed up in a nice uh, linen jumpsuit very nice neutral eye and then this this is such a beautiful warm tone red on my lips it's a little bright so i don't use it unconsiderably like i really want to make a point with my lips and then i use this it's it's doesn't look like as bright on here as it ends up in my, on my lips i feel but it's beautiful and the mulak lipsticks have a very nice scent of um I don't know. It is the Mulak lipsticks scent. I love this. Then uh, also from Mulak, when I was in Milan, I borrowed from my friend their Kiki Koro liquid lipsticks. And oh goodness, such a beautiful bright coral. If I have a photo, I'll place it here next to me. But I don't know even if I got a nice photo of it. But it's beautiful. I can't wait to have a chance to purchase it when I'm in Italy. Uh, if I'm in Italy, whenever I'm in Italy, I don't know. And then the other uh, item that I rediscovered from last summer is this Clarence uh, water lip stain. This is in the shade 03 red water and what it is is as it says a water lip stain. So it has quite a watery consistency um, which looks really glossy at the beginning then um, it is not a gloss so it will not stay glossy for very long once it dries down it leaves a um, nice stain on your lips that is quite bright and it lasts forever like I had it on and it was just on there it wouldn't go away, it didn't feel dry. I could wear a lip balm on top, I could wear a gloss if I wanted on top and it wouldn't go away. I was very happy, plus it has a kind of a cooling sensation because this water uh, component is evaporating so that makes uh, your lips feel cool. So um, yeah, on no makeup days it's been a um, light eye makeup and a very pronounced lip and these two have been my favorites. One last neon item for my favorites of June and that is this nail polish from Essie. This is called Souls on Fire and it's from their summer collection. You uh, will have seen it in my latest haul which was gigantic. It was gigantic. But uh, I've been wearing this, not right now, but I've been wearing this a lot, um, I think at least three weeks in the last uh, month uh, and, and a bit. Um, this is a beautiful neon peach uh, pastel orange it is uh, opaque in two coats it actually dries down matte but i use a top coat on it because i prefer the glossy finish beautiful formula beautiful color and really really summery so i've been really enjoying it it is still out there so if you're interested just go pick it up sc souls on fire beautiful so that was that for my favorites and the product that didn't work for me now let's move on to empties i hold all my empties in my sephora bag from i don't know italy sometime um one thing that i can see already is that i um colored my hair this month in the month of june and that was very much needed i also chopped all my hair off it is not in good condition to show you. I'll show you in my next video, I guess, after I wash it. But I, yeah, it is just in a bun today. It uh, went from almost to my belly button to above my boobs. So we chopped off half of the length. I am super happy about it. And before I did that, I colored uh, the roots. And uh, yeah, that was that. Then I finished my first Shiseido facial cotton pack that I had and this one my husband brought me from the US in November. He brought me two 
and this is one of them gone. So um, one of these lasts me of daily use, uh, morning and evening, half a year, easy. I have one more, so now someone needs to go to the US and come back with another stash because this is only available at Sephora US. We cannot get it in Europe and it is the most luscious and thin and beautiful cotton pads. I cut them in half, so I use half in the morning, half in the evening for my toner and it's just wonderful. I, um, I would not exchange this for any other cotton that I've tried or that I can find at the drugstore. It's $10 uh, for six months of cotton rounds. Perfection. Love it. Unfortunately finished. Then I finished my um, last professional, let's say, um, shampoo. This is the L'Oreal Serie Expert AOX Vitamino Color Shampoo for Color Radiance. Um, it smells like bubble gum and I didn't like that at all. And like, yeah, pink strawberry bubble gum or something. I didn't like the scent. I didn't see particularly great results with it uh, keeping my hair color fresh. So I think that um, now I'm going through a um, shampoo and conditioner from Alchemilla, which are a natural brand from Italy. Once those are finished, I think I will go back to purchasing my Joico uh, K-Pak color because it's just unbeatable. It's just the best, the best of the best um, shampoo for colored hair. That is unbeatable. I have also finished a Ordinary Rose Hip Oil and this one I had opened on the January 2019 but I didn't use every single day. I was using it alternating with the Rose Cream from Pixie that is also finishing but not yet finished. Um, I really enjoyed this. I would repurchase. It is 10 euros and uh, compared to let's say the pie um, Rose Hip Oil cream that it, uh, Rose Hip Oil cream rosehip oil which is 21 this is absolutely worth it loved it i really like to use it in the evenings as my last step in my skincare routine more skincare that i finished is this paula's choice radiance renewal mask i've had this for a year now this is a deluxe sample size and this is i don't have all the ingredients but i think this is a vitamin c based um, mask and it is for suitable for daily use and you can leave it on to go to sleep it it did a nice job I don't know, hydrating and nourishing my skin. It wasn't heavy and um, I used it as a treat when I didn't have a lot of time to do my skincare and I just wanted that something that had good ingredients and that would do also a good job overnight. So not just slapping on a moisturizer, but this also have act has active ingredients I enjoyed. So um, yeah, I don't think it was good enough for me to purchase the full size, but then again, I don't usually uh, purchase full size masks because I don't do them often enough. Um, but I did enjoy this sample. I have finally finished this little sample of Kula Classic Sunscreen uh, Cucumber Moisturizer SPF 30 Organic Sun Care for the face. I had this in purses and um, I brought it with me in case I needed to reapply. So it took a while for me to finish. Nothing special, I have to say. Nothing really too good uh, or nothing to make me run out and buy it. I'm now using my Vichy uh, SPF 30 when I just need SPF or I have like today on my Origins Ginseng Tinted Moisturizer which it could be a favorite every month, that moisturizer. I love it. It's my second tube. I'm going through it. I can wear it every day. I haven't touched the foundation since the weather turned better and I don't think I will uh, at all. So yeah, anyways, sorry. I finished this uh, SPF and then I went through a ton of samples because I went to Milan for a weekend to meet my friends and uh, I brought with me uh, my pa Paula's Choice routine. I love buying these little routine sets from Paula's Choice. They contain all of the products in a range and my favorite range is the skin balancing one. It's the most suitable for my skin which has problem with oils, a bit enlarged pores but not too many breakouts. 
they have also the one for acne prone skin, sensitive skin. They have the one for rosacea, which I'll show you a few products from, and uh, dry skin. They have a little sachets of everything, and I love just when I order a full size item, I just throw in a package. So I have a lot in my drawer and I take them with me. Um, so from the skin balancing line, I took with me the cleanser, oil reducing cleanser, the pore reducing toner. The toner I also finished a full size and the cleanser I have in full size and I have yet to start, but I really like these. They work really well. They're simple, effective, um, products they don't sting they don't dry you out I really really like them and then I also had the super antioxidant antioxidant concentrate serum with retinol this one here is being reformulated I heard right now uh, it has quite a high uh, dose of retinol but I used it only for a few nights and I, I didn't have any uh, reaction or uh, any problem with it. This sachet was quite small. I think it's one milliliter versus the three and three and a half of the other ones. But it, it comes also because indeed it's a serum, you don't need a lot. I have still a deluxe sample of uh, this one to use, but I'm like savoring it for, I don't know what, for when my big retinol from uh, Paula's Choice finishes. Um, I guess that's it. Then I took with me a, a sachet of the 2% BHA liquid. I cannot live without this. I love it. I can't wait to finish all the rest of my toners to go back to my 2% BHA from Paula's Choice. Great, great product. Then I took the Calm Repairing Serum for all skin times and the Calm is for sensitive skin. They also have the one, I think it's also called Calm for rosacea and then it's separated for dry skin and for uh, norm, uh, oily combination skin and this one here is just really calming. It has ceramides, it has hyaluronic acid, a lot of good things and it's a calming serum and I thought in Milan it was 30 degrees, it was very hot and sunny and I thought I'll take one of these soothing serums and it will be wonderful. So I was using this one I believe in the morning and the retinol one in the evening and then indeed from the redness relief calm line so this is the one from rosacea i got the moisturizer for normal to oily skin and this i used as my night cream because they also have a moisturizer with spf and i used it a few years ago i had a i received a sample and that was a mineral sunscreen so a little bit too heavy and too white for me i don't love uh, inorganic sunscreens i prefer organic or what people call chemical but everything is a chemical people so an organic sunscreen is a uh, based on organic compounds and an inorganic sunscreen is based on zinc oxide titanium oxide which are inorganic compounds anyways now that that rant is over um, I liked this moisturizer I didn't like the one with SPF will we ever make it to the end I finished a little sample of the avocado eye cream from Kios. I split this with a friend because she was trying to finish her cream and she had a really big tub and she gave me this full and it lasted me for months, months I tell you. Love this cream. I just wish they didn't come in a pot. Uh, also the big one comes in a pot. I don't like that. I am uh, done sticking my fingers in tubs. I almost, I think I don't have anything in a tub anymore. I just don't like skincare in a tub. Then I did some eye masks so this is the anti-fatigue and energizing eye mask pomegranate eye mask from sephora uh i don't know their face masks like last me two times i like their hand masks this wasn't really anything special i actually should do more masks maybe i'll do one tonight um to go through a little bit my stash and make sure i'm keeping my skin nice and youthful supporting my skincare um, I use this I don't know I don't think I would repurchase eye, eye masks from Sephora it didn't really wow me and I could only use it once final item you guys got like super in-depth reviews of everything I'm so sorry <laughs> or I'm not sorry but yeah it, it takes a long time last uh, item is my brush cleanser I finished another one I just love this Hema cosmetic brush cleaner and um, yeah if you have a Hema around you I know they're 
expanding around Europe, you should get this. It uh, smells nice, it does its job, and um, I go through these, it's, it's what I use for the last, I don't know how many years. And that was that, you guys. Finally, a June roundup, favorites, empties, one product that didn't work out, a lot of reviews. Let me know down below what your favorite item for June was. Maybe I need it, maybe I don't. I will put here on the screen how much um, is the value of the products I finished this month. Probably not a lot. I am still doing my um, Excel sheet with everything I spend and every, or everything I buy, everything I finish and everything I sell. So that is still going. Probably I will give you an insight at the end of the year. It's scary. It's scary, especially the spending part, which is much higher of the finishing part. But anyways, um, I hope you have a great July, wherever you're going, if you're staying in the city, if you're going on holiday, I'm gonna be here working every day of July. I don't have any more free days for this year since we took two weeks in September, or we're going to take two weeks in September to go on holidays. I'm here hanging around. I will keep doing videos. I am here for you guys if you have any questions let me know contact me on instagram on twitter on facebook wherever you are all my links are in the description box subscribe to my channel for more videos and i will see you in my next one bye guys